Uh, first, it's good to have you here, Mr. Winkelmann. Uh, it is Xin Yu from China. And uh, let me ask you some question about uh, Lamborghini. So first, uh, it, it's, a, it's a good day to drive a Urus. And uh, I really like the car. So, and it's definitely the most successful car uh, under Lamborghini be, uh, in terms of sales. So uh, is there going to be a baby SUV underneath? No, we are not planning to have uh, another SUV below the, the Urus. Okay, cool. And uh, as we know, electrification is coming and uh, Lamborghini is definitely going this direction as well. So when will Urus be electrified? Well, we will have uh, the Urus as a hybrid uh -huh. starting from the second half of 2024. So we okay. will have the start of production mm -hmm. and it will be full pace then in 2025. Full pace means full? Full production power. So we start with the, with the production in the second half of 2024 yeah. mm -hmm. and then full power will be in 2025. But it's not a fully battery electric vehicle? No, it's, it's a hybrid. A hybrid. Yes. Okay, understood. And uh, since Urus is the only Lamborghini on sale with rear seats, is there any plan for sedans? No, we are, our idea is to have a force model and if we would have a force model, the idea could be um, a GT 2 plus 2, so with uh, two seats in the back, but a two-door car, mm. which is, uh, let's say, missing a bit in the lineup of Lamborghini. Yeah. Uh, and uh, for a sports car company, a super sports car company, if you want to add uh, uh, next to the two super sports cars and the SUV, this could be a perfect match. Cool. And uh, as we know, the LMDH program is coming in Lamborghini. Uh, is there going to be a special motorsport team to collaborate with, like uh, Porsche and Penske uh, for Lamborghini? Yes, we will have uh, a collaboration with, uh, with a team, uh, which we will announce uh, in a bit. Okay, cool. And uh, since I'm from China, I want to ask one question about Chinese market. Uh, what's your impression of the Chinese market so far, and uh, what's your expectation in the future? But the Chinese market is already our second uh, biggest market, so it's a very important market for us. Uh, this year, despite, uh, let's say, uh, the COVID situation with closing and opening, uh, so the, the, the market was going up and down, but uh, generally, I have to speak, uh, it's a, a strong market also in these uh, difficult times, and uh, we are looking forward also in the next year to a constant growth uh, for the Chinese market. Good. That's all. Thank you very much for You're today. You're welcome.